Howdy guys, it's Joe here, and today I want to talk to you guys about why some people may hate Widowmaker mains, and of course, the character Widowmaker on Overwatch. Of course, my last Why People Hate video, I didn't really talk about actually the mains of the characters. Uh, this time, I'm going to go a little bit deep on that, and just kind of go over uh, why people might hate your character. So if you're a player playing this character, and you don't really understand that, or if you just want to have some grievance with me, uh, you can just kind of continue from there. Anyways, with that said, let's just talk about some of the reasons why some people may not like playing with this character, or just simply having them on your team. And the first thing that I feel like is a big reason for why people hate the mains of Widowmaker, in a lot of situations, not every single one, and of course I've had many games where Widowmakers don't do this. You know, Widowmakers play really well, they switch off, they do what they're supposed to do, but in a lot of cases of what I've played, especially on my Smurf when I'm playing down in a bit lower rankings, is the fact that a lot of Widowmakers seem to think that they can carry in every single situation. Now, I don't know exactly where this comes from, it, it kind of feels like the McCree mentality, where you think that you are always going to be the best character in every situation, if your aim is really, really good. A lot of people think that if just their tech skill is high enough, they can kind of make up for everything else. <laughs> you know, they can make up for bad matchups, they can make up for not being able to go in, they can just make up for all of that simply with having a really great aim and being able to get a lot of picks. And while in some situations that can work, a lot of the times Widowmaker just won't simply be the right pick for the situation, the map's not good for her, the team comp's not good for her, the enemy team comp's not good for her, there's a lot of different situations and I feel like a lot of people have problems just kind of thinking that they can pick her even once she really wouldn't be that great. Next I feel like a lot of people also try to play this character, um, when they have a combo based team, and the problem is, simply put, that doesn't really work the best, she's not really a combo based character. But even in that situation, you can still do okay with combo based teams, but quite a few of these people that are playing Widowmaker don't tell their team to wait until she gets a pick to get in. That's really kind of what Widowmaker is mainly focused on. You get a pick and then your team can go in, your team can combo, it kind of be like a 5v5 plus extra support from far range. But what often happens is that your team goes in, Widowmaker hasn't gotten a single pick, and then Widow really can't get any kills because, you know, the people are around the corner are just really, really far away and jumping all around just really being hard to hit or being shielded or anything like that. I feel like you guys really need to work on trying to tell your teammates, please wait, let me get a pick, and then we can go in, because then you can be a lot more of use. Third off, I also want to say, I feel like there's a big problem with a lot of people that are picking her and not switching off of her. Of course, if you play Widowmaker and you like to play her and you really are playing her really quite well, that's okay. But again, there are some situations where you might want to be switching off the character, where your team kind of might need something more, or where you could just supply more to your team if you were playing somebody else. Of course, if you enjoy playing the character, play who you want to play. But I feel like a lot of people just have big problems switching off the character. I, I don't really know why. I feel like there's a few main characters uh, that are like this, but Widowmaker is just one of those kinds of characters that people really, really like and love, and they just won't switch off of them. As well, a thing that I've kind of noticed over some time that's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I really can't tell. Uh, it seems like if a Widowmaker gets one or two shots, one or two headshots early on, they will not switch a entire game. After they get those headshots, they think that they're on point that they're going to carry the entire game. Even if they miss the next 10, 15 shots, even if they don't get any more picks for the rest of the round, they're like, you know, I'm doing really good this game and I'm not going to switch. And while if you do consistently still get more picks, consistently still get more damage and keep picking it up, that's great, keep playing the character. But if you get a few good shots at the beginning and then you just start missing over and over and over again, maybe try someone else. And of course, if your team comp really isn't working at all with Widowmaker as well, maybe try somebody else. I don't know, it's just something that I've seen quite a bit with Widowmakers on my team. As well with that, finally, I feel like a problem with playing with Widowmakers and, you know, the mains is the fact that it's very hard to tell when she's doing okay. I feel like with a lot of other characters in the game, it's pretty decently easy to see if they're doing okay as the character. As someone playing somebody like Soldier, for example, it's very easy. He isn't really carrying, but he's still supplying a decent amount of damage. The problem about Widowmaker is that when you look at them, usually you're thinking, this Widowmaker is great, amazing, one of the best is going to carry us or they're terrible. I feel like people really don't give Widowmakers the middle ground way too much. She's, again, kind of like McCree in that aspect in a lot of ways. People just kind of think that she's one of those two, and I feel like a lot of people mostly assume that the Widowmaker is very, very bad, unless they see some great stuff at the beginning. It just kind of makes a negative stigma for the character that I guess is just based off the community, and overall, I feel like it can become hard uh, for the Widowmaker player to have to somewhat prove himself every single game to show that they're doing well. It's something that I don't really don't approve of, but just a reason why I feel like some people might just hate the character. It just kind of happens. But as far as some stuff about Widowmaker that really isn't about the player base at all, another thing that might make some people dislike the character, you know, just a bit, is the fact of being one shot. Of course, being one shot in any game a lot of times doesn't feel way too fair. Of course, it is pretty fair, and Widowmaker really isn't like the most busted character in the entire game, but getting one shot by a hook or getting one shot in the head from super far away, it can really piss you off, and it gives a lot of people uh, some anger when they're fighting, especially against a Widowmaker player. 
Secondly, she really can't combo, as I said earlier, as well with her team as a lot of the other characters. And the problem that a lot of people have is that at a lot of ranks, you really focus all of your damage and all of your winning on simply getting one or two really nice pushes. It's not much about the slow pushing grind game uh, where you get a few nice picks and then you go in. It's more you all jump in at one time, try to win the opponents with your ultimates and just kind of go in from there, which Widowmaker really can't work on way too well. I feel like it gives people the wrong idea of Widow and they're like, you know, when we all jumped in, we lost. That means this character is trash. No, she can still do decently, but maybe that's why some people do have a bit of a problem with her. Next, I'm also going to say that her ultimate can be frustrating at times for you, having a Widowmaker on your team, and for the other team. When you have Widowmaker on your team, I feel like often her ultimate really feels quite useless. It really isn't the most high impact thing in the game, doesn't do any damage, no crowd control. It can tell you where they are, but in the majority of Overwatch maps, there really aren't many flanking routes, so that doesn't really help you way too much. Um, but at the same time, on the enemy team, I feel like sometimes... Just, you know, the Widowmaker happens to get her ultimate up, she just pokes you, why does he walk around the corner, gets you over and over and over again. Not always, but just a few games, and that kind of can frustrate a few people. Finally, the thing about the character herself is that I feel like a lot of people know that the character Widowmaker, when played to her maximum 100% potential, is really, really good. And people are often very, very afraid of Widowmaker because of that. But at the same time, most people don't really show that in the game and don't really give Widowmaker any respect because they think that most players can't pull that off. Because, honestly, it's, it's impossible to pull it off. Getting headshot after headshot every single shot and just getting consistent, super consistent picks and damage, it's really, really difficult. And I feel like a lot of people just have a problem when their teammates don't do that. They, they have super, super high expectations for these players. And even though their expectation for themselves might be pretty medium or pretty low, whatever character they're playing, they got really high for other people. And when you have super high expectations for someone, that can make you kind of angry at them when they don't reach them, even if they're really unfair expectations. So I guess that's kind of explaining why a few Widowmakers, some people feel the way that they do. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Those are at least the things that I've thought about myself that I've kind of experienced and just stuff like that about why some people might hate Widowmaker mains. Talking to your Widowmakers or talking to people that are not Widowmakers, just everybody alike. Anyways, as always, if you guys did enjoy the video and if you want to see any future videos like this, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. Tell me who you want to see for the next time and I'll try to get to that ASAP whoever is the most voted. I'll probably just going to do next time if you guys want to vote. Uh, but leave a like if you want to see a more future like this. Subscribe if you want to see any more future content. And as always, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.